someone who presents. Okay, so for this case, we have a 70 year old male with clear medical background. He has a two month history uh, prior to admission, uh, progressive jaundice with dull right upper quadrant pain. Um, one week later, he, did, he lost his appetite with marked weight loss. Two weeks later, he had a skin rash, deep yellow tea like urine with pale stool. The general examination showed that he looked clinically ill. He was deeply jaunda jaundiced, slightly pale, um, but fortunately he was conscious and not confused, and he was vitally stable. The local examination just showed right quadrant tenderness and mild bilateral lower limb edema. Um, here are his investigations. As you guys can see, you have the total bilirubin and um, direct that were elevated. Here shows the abdominal ultrasound, uh, or the abdominal sound in the MRCP showed a grossly dilated biliary system and mild dilation of the pancreatic duct with distal, with distal um, common bile duct polypoint mass. And today we have a suspected periampillary tumor um, that we're going to ERCP for. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the presenting the case. Um, uh, as you see, I position already the ampulla. This is discharging infected uh, bile already. Uh, thank you for my team. Uh, I will ask my usual in such position. position I usually prefer to use the, the synchrotome and uh, in front of the ampulla, then I will ask my assistant to bend a little bit uh, to, to get the axis of the CBD. Already we are bending. Uh, guide wear. Please, can you give me the screen? A little bit screen down. A little bit, a little bit. The screen is still down. As you see, we are, our, our uh, guide wear is in the right, mostly hepatic duct crossing the scope. And this uh, indicating that we are in this biliary system. Then we will ask to to I make sure that my cannula is down. This usually requested by our surgeon to see the extension of the stricture or the locality of the stricture to decide their surgery to see good cholangiogram to have it uh, to assess the resectability uh, of the of the tumor. So I will ask my uh, my uh, assistant to inject the contrast. Inject. Please give me the screen, full screen of the, yes, it's good. Inject, inject down a little bit to see the tip of the scope. Inject, 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 keep injecting, keep injecting, keep injecting still, keep injecting, keep, keep injecting. Can, to see if there is any proximal structure. Can you give me low down yes. screen low down, please? Low down screen. Give me, to see give me the, the screen level. To see the, the table. No, no, no. Yes, yes, it's good. No, you are right, Professor yes. Mustafa. Yes, you see like the that. tip of my cannula here. If you see the tip of my cannula, it's out. I'm putting it on the tip of the stricture. Inject again. Inject, inject, inject. Keep injecting. You see the length of the stricture now. Keep injecting. Keep injecting to see if there is any proximal stricture. Rarely to have an ampullary tumor like uh, in. Uh, metastasis or, or, or I mean lymph nodes compressing usually you see it in see ahead of the pancreas uh, lymph nodes compressing in the proximal but I should see that there is no proximal stricture inject cell to decide what uh, links of, of a stent I will need uh, uh, I will go a little bit up with my cannula as you see inject still inject as you see the my cannula is, is in tip in the common hepatic duct and you see nicely the left uh, can, can, can we see the screen? The screen. The screen. screen. Yes. Yes. Okay. And, uh, uh, you, you prefer that okay. you straight. You prefer a minimum that you straight, uh, the, straight the uh, wire because the wire is the wire is okay. It's preferable to. Khatil, uh, khatil. Regarding the screen, the guide wire share. So when you want to yes, yes, Green. like that. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll get your Yeah. Okay. Then we change and then we will go to stand. Uh, the guide wire is in, in, in the liver. Okay. That's right. We, we, we do the change now to put the stand. Uh, usually I, I prefer it can put 10, 10, 7, but uh, I, will, I will put 10, 10 French stand. 
uh, it will be blessed exactly, most likely in the common hematic diet. Uh, uh, do, do we change? You are changing and, and, now? And you, you said that this is an operable case? Uh, I think till now it's operable. We need CT staging, we have just an M MRCP. There is no distal metastasis in the MRCP. And uh, uh, I think this is an operable case. And you do the age is 65, but the no, no, I, I, in yeah. such case, no, no, I, I don't do string totomy. Uh, the patient has 1.5 uh, uh, INR, it is already the INR was, was above four. We give eight fresh uh, unit of plasma, so we'll not do string totomy. Uh, usually, I'm not routinely doing uh, a string totomy still. If, if I have tied, uh, I mean, uh, introduction in, uh, in Dambula, then I will, I will do a little bit of string totomy when I'm putting it. Uh, plastic uh, stem, especially if stem fresh, it's preferable to do minor synchrotomy to uh, reduce the risk of, of, of uh, bunkeriopathy. So I'm changing now. Uh, I, I will, in, 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 uh, in case of seven French or eight French, usually I use di direct just stem and push it. In case of 10 French, I prefer using, uh, I mean, guiding catheter and system. So, Today, we'll use a guiding system and a uh, uh, preloaded stamp with stamp fresh, uh, straight pipe, Amsterdam pipe, uh, because I, I didn't do any synchrotomy. When I do synchrotomy, big synchrotomy, like in, so I prefer to put most likely double big tail stents. But now I put a uh, 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 stamp we already finished with the changing, then we'll put uh, the system. I, I will show the system, reload it for insertion it. A DNA system, yeah. Hot solar, you show the okay. So, this is a preloaded. You will show to us by camera, yes, 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 yes. We show the you will show you by camera. This is the stand, this is the guiding catheter. As you see in the guiding catheter, there is the metallic tip in the guiding catheter. Yes, this help you when you go up. Uh, in the in the liver and it is inside then you you ask uh, i ask my assistant because the, the system here is locked uh and when when i'm in in the in the in the liver then i ask my assistant to open the the uh this uh, the, the, the 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 system the 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 butcher to push the the stent inside so uh and this is this is a boston one huh? This is a Boston uh, it's not. Uh, I think it's Boston one. It's, we have it. Uh, we get it from uh, our our friends from UK. It's not uh, uh, the Boston sounds for Boston because they already sent the material for the uh, workshop. Unfortunately, due to some uh, logistic problem, we didn't get it. But we we have we, we are using their uh, their system uh, pusher and system. So we we'll get uh, the goods to, uh, tomorrow. Thank you very much for them. Okay, so the, the catheter is going. I usually ask my uh, my assistant to pull uh, the, I mean the guide wire to help me to go in quickly. I prefer to see the guide were, if not pushed out, to minimize the exposure to, to, to radiation. Uh, okay, trying to see. So, it's if it's the air, it's still fresh 10 centimeters? Yes, yes. Now, if you see the metallic tip is going in, yes, it? yes, yes. Okay, yes. So, we are going in, then we can follow. Give me the screen, give me the screen, Kabira. So if you, you can follow the metallic tip going, you see it? Yes. Yes. Move it's back, go there. You see it? You see yes. it? Going up. Now crossing the scope. And now we are in the common hypotic dose. We'll go to the liver directly. Uh, uh, pull back. Pull back the air. OK, we are, we are in. Then I can ask my assistant now to release the stem. 
she's releasing a scent, then she will look back, back the guiding catheter to help me go in. Now the scent is going. If you see. What is the color of the scent? Uh, blue. I like blue, you can see. Uh, the the, the scent is blue and the butcher is? What is the color uh, of the butcher? Yeah, uh, the busher is dark blue. You it's see, blue you see na- yes, and the guiding cassette is white. You see, you see the the flap, uh, preventing the the stand migrating out. It's going in. This is the first flap. They are going in. Give me a screen. I prefer it's normally cool. to use a busher with a color different from the from the stand. <laughs> yes, we are going in, going in, going in. And now this is the end of the uh, this is the, the, the second flap. You see, then no, I, I will ask we don't, the, we don't see the video. We need, we need the video, we need the camera. The video, we need the scope. Yes, you see, you see, it? this is the yeah. second flap is in. Yeah, and uh, you see, the pile is 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 looks infected, sick pile. You will take I some bile for culture. Um, uh, usually I, I don't if for, for, uh, uh, okay, you see the bile is infected, we can take fluid for culture, definitely this, this, this will, good, will be a good idea, I do it sometimes for, for, in, in research, I have uh, such research with the culture for many patients, uh, but uh, we can, we can take sample. Adini Kassiter. Kassiter, Kassiter, sorry. Okay. So we finish the case. You see the bar is infected. It's better to take a sample for kosher. So, so Dr. Abdul Mohin, could you tell us uh, this patient is operable, so he'll go for surgery. It, does, uh-huh. Do your students have a cutoff of bilirubin? At what level of yes. they'll be comfortable to operate, and at what level they don't like to operate? We we have a, a very nice team, uh, and uh, uh, they are training. He but really young uh, doctor started training in 2015 uh, or 12. Already uh, 2015 came back. Uh, we are planning to establish a liver transplant unit. So this young surgeon started MD meetings to see. Uh, cases of advanced hepatobiliary karyotic surgery. Now they reach more than 400 cases of uh, liver resection and pancreatic resection surgery with good compar- comparable their data. So uh, salute for them. And uh, uh, we have an agreement in our MDT meeting for cutoff of 15. Uh, 15. Uh, uh, yes, and they did it from, exper- from their experience. They, 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 they found that if the value were over 15, I mean, the, the recovery of the herbation is not smooth. So the cutoff is, if this is 15, uh, they, they go for uh, biliary drainage by ERCP. If failed, the ERCP then go for BTBD. This providing that the patient has no, no infection. Of course, if the patient has cholangitis, you have to go and, and uh, to drain the patient regardless of the level of the, uh, the bilirubin. So we already took the sample. Can you show the sample? And camera, 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 camera. That's good. Okay. You see, so, we, we already took the sample for the culture. Uh, from our experience, most of the of the culture we took is is, is sudo 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 monas. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, so we will took the culture and then we see. Uh, but usually, I'm 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 doing the patient if he has such cholangitis uh, evidence by uh, by drainage. I usually. Uh, uh, use ibibinem or mibirubinem, merubinem to to have the 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 uh, the culture result. Okay, we finish. Do, do uh, you have any what, questions, uh, Doctor Menem? What, uh, uh-huh. what you give before, before ERCB? You give some antibiotics. Uh-huh. Anything else? Yes, yes. We we usually give uh, prophylactic antibiotics because. Uh, uh, you see, you you know, and the, the same situation as in another countries because we are re, reusing the instruments. Uh, so we prefer to give antibiotics. We use we usually give uh, uh, third uh, generation uh, kefalosporin. I usually give it before the procedure and continue till the start of the patient. And I'm usually even I 
my, I myself, I'm putting my patients in oral antibiotics for five days. And you give something for the for the pancreatitis? Yes, we use uh, non uh, uh, diclofenac sodium as, uh, as 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 prophylaxis. Suppositories. Suppositories. Yes, yeah. we don't have indomethacin, but we are using diclofenac uh, sodium. This, this is and, normal, and we... normally for everyone. Yes, routinely for everyone. Routine. Also, routine. also, also, yes. I, I, I. In the last three, four years. I start to rehydrate my patients before and after ERCP. Yeah. I'm giving before ERCP um, six, uh, six uh, like uh, two point uh, six hourly, or mostly up to four uh, four uh, liters if they stay twenty four uh, uh, hours. Good rehydration, mostly ring their lactate, half the flu the fluid, and 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 I observe that uh, my uh cases of pancreatitis is getting less and i'm i'm, I'm already uh doing control control randomized uh, trial on uh, on this uh with my team and also there's some published data in the in the media about about this okay uh, uh dr Menem, i think it's a very good presentations also you give some idea about uh, putting a stent 